Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about resolving if you're having an issue with the XAPOFX1 underscore 1 that DL is missing error when attempting to install an application and it's might ask to be reinstalled to fix this problem and you try reinstalling it to no avail. Well, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve that without too much of a hassle. And we're going to go ahead and jump straight into it. So we're going to start off by opening up the Google Chrome web browser if it's not already open. And into Google search, you want to go just type in the name of this DLL file. So again, it's going to be xapofx1 underscore one dot DLL download. So just go ahead and search for that. It should be a website that says dllfiles.com. Just go ahead and click on that. There's other websites that host this as well, but we're going to just go down on this page here. So most of you guys are going to be selecting the 64-bit download, so we're going to go ahead and select the download option for that. Unless you're running a computer older than 10 years or so, you're probably running the 32-bit version of Windows, in which case you would select the other download, the 32-bit one, which is times 86 by the way, but times 64 is 64-bit, and that's what most of you guys are probably using here. So once this compressed folder is done downloading, we're going to go ahead and just open it up. Go and drag the DLL file to the desktop. And now in the File Explorer window we just extracted this file from, go ahead and select this PC on the left side. Double click on your local disk where Windows is installed on. So go ahead and double click on that. And now you want to double click on the Windows folder. And now locate System32. So go ahead and double click on that. You can see our path up at the top here. So this PC, then our local disk. The C is arbitrary. It could be a different disk in your case. However, most people, main hard drive is usually the C drive, by the way. That's just usually a given, but not always. And then you have Windows and then System32. And then we also got the DLL file that we dragged over to our desktop a little while ago. So all we have to do now is just drag and drop it into the System32 folder. It says you'll need to provide administrator permission to move to this folder. Go ahead and select continue. And once that's done, you can just close out of here. You will need to restart your computer for the change to take effect. And that should hopefully be about it. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. Do hope that I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.